Hello everyone. This is Rucha Bapat. Uh, I'm follow. I'm following a course called Data Science and Programming for 99%, and this video is part of my coursework. So today I'm going to show you a very interesting data mining tool called Zbeka, which is developed in Java and it is developed in New Zealand. So this is very interesting data mining tool, and uh, let's let's uh, let's get a demo of it. So I'm opening Zbeka. I'm using a data set for my demo, which is downloaded from American government website, uh, which is about a farmer's market. So this is a Veka GUI. Uh, this is, uh, these are the applications which are available uh, in this tool. So I'm go going to show you uh, something about Explorer. So Explorer contains a pre-processing the data, classifying the thing, learning something from data, visualization, visualization of your data. So let's just open our file. So I have a very big file called farmer's market, but I have filtered it out to for, for the for, for the sake of this video. So the basic file format for the in the Veka is uh, attribute relation file format, but you can choose a CSV file also. So here is a drop down list of a file format. So I'm using a uh, choosing a CSV and I'm opening a goods class file, which is a filtered file uh, file from the very big data set. So here I'm getting a visualization of uh, of the uh, this attribute. You can select the attribute you want. So if I select the grains, I'll get a grains. So here is the count x and y axis scale that is count and weight. And here are uh, it, it is the uh, list of all attributes. So in pre-processing, what you do is you want to remove some attribute or you want to add some attribute and make your data file ready to read. So uh, you can uh, use it with a filter function here. So uh, let's Let's say I want to remove some attributes from this uh, data set. So I just choose filters, unsupervised attribute, and I just need to select a remove function. So I just select a remove function, and then I need to check the uh, attributes I want to remove. So let's just say I remove seafood, jams, and nuts. So this, uh, then I just uh, click on remove and save so uh, you can save that file format in default in arff or also you can save the uh, whatever file fo file format you want to use so um, now i'll open the file again because i don't want to remove uh, the attributes so this is my file i can visualize everything uh, in a histogram here in the visualize tab so the, these are the basic histograms and your all data is visualized here uh, you can zoom in and check for the each attribute so uh, this is the visualization uh, for for the uh, white harvested so attribute, but you can visualize everything. Like you have a state wise uh, state wise visualization and a basic histograms for all the goods uh, where the red shows the availability of that good and blue shows the uh, the goods are not available. So uh, let's just learn something from this data. So you know, uh, if you want uh, for the farmers, they really want to uh, predict uh, which good comes with which another goods for which season. So for that prediction, you can uh, use a classification. Classification is a typical uh, uh, machine learning or data mining algorithm which can be used for predict the relevant uh, attributes in your big data set. So I just need to uh, click on a classify. Uh, I will for, for this demo, I will uh, go with the trees, trees classification, and I'll use a J48 trees. I'm not going to uh, going in a deep of this tree, uh, tree uh, algorithm, but uh, you can easily read it in uh, on internet. I'll make folds as five. And for, for this demo, let's just, you know, uh, find out which is the most relevant attribute with the cheese. So I just need to click a start and I'll get my result. For do this for for this to you know implement the algorithm manually, you need really need to uh, write a long code and go through all the process and get your results. But it's very very uh, easy in Veka. So I just need to click on start and I get my results in seconds. You can see it. So uh, this is my result. Uh, so according to prune tree, I'm getting meat as a most relevant attribute. And you can easily imagine how meat is relevant with the cheese. So uh, this is my results. These are my results. So I have a number of leaves and size of a tree. And here I'm getting accuracy. This is 82.24%, which is quite high. Uh, so this is my accuracy by class uh, where I have precision and recall results and uh, and uh, F majors and uh, I'm not going to going into going in a deep of this uh, classification but uh, yeah and this is the confusion matrix 
where uh, I'm getting uh, for where A is for no and B is for yes. And I'm getting this confusion matrix that how many goods are available for yes and no with the meat. So uh, this is my tree. I can e easily visualize my tree and see the results uh, and visualize my results where it is easy to you know analyze. So these are results. Uh, this is my tree where meat is the most relevant attribute for the cheese and the combinations where I can get a cheese with which probability. So if meat and prepared is there, if meat is yes and prepared is yes with this probability, then I can get it, definitely get a cheese. So this you can easily learn from your data set and this is very important for those farmers to you know predict the uh, availability of the goods. So these are the basic two functionalities I have shown to you in Becca. So so you can explore more about clustering and visualizing everything. So uh, this is a very powerful tool and very easy to use. You don't need to write long codes and nothing. So I'm sure that you will use this uh, tool, explore this more and, uh, you know, do your data mining very interestingly. So this this is for this video. This that, that that's, that's all for this video. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye bye.